In this quick tip, I'm going to show you a couple of key features on the caps and fillets of spline-based objects like the extrude lathe, loft, and sweep. These options were added in Cinema 4D R16 at the same time as we got a UV map across the cap of these spline-based objects. And the first one that we're going to look at is Create Single Object. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and swap out to a material that's going to make it a little bit easier to see. And I'm going to switch to my side camera so that we can take a closer look at the edge of this object. The Create Single Object option, if I set these steps down to just one, you'll notice that uh, we've got a clear fong break or delineation here between the extrusion, the rounding, and the cap. And that's because internally, if I make this editable, it's actually individual objects for each of those individual pieces. I'm gonna undo that and turn on Create Single Object. And now you can see that we're getting smoothing all the way across the extrusion, rounding, and cap because they're now a single object and the fong is actually shading them. Uh, and this sort of messy edge here is actually just simply because there's not many steps and so the fong's having trouble smoothing it properly. We can clean that up just by increasing the number of steps. But where the create single object option really comes in handy is with uh, deformers. So for instance, if we apply a displacer deformer here, you can see that with create single object on, I get a uniform displacement that's all connected. If I turn off the create single object option, you'll see that we actually have gaps because each individual sub object is being displaced, but they're not connected. You might have gotten used to simply dropping your extrude objects into a connect object in order to eliminate this problem. But in most cases now with extrude, lathe, loft, and sweep objects, you simply need to check the create single object option in the cap settings. The other option I wanted to point out is the rounding UVW keep shape. And we're actually gonna switch textures for that. And here we've got a checkerboard material and you can see that the UV map on the cap is actually stopping at the rounding portion. And the rounding actually has its own UV. It's hard to make out because the tiles are so tight. Uh, we can actually go ahead and increase this temporarily so that you can see the UV there on the rounding. And so the rounding UV is more or less following the extrusion UV right now. But if we choose the option for rounding UVW keep shape, you can see that the rounding UV is more or less going to follow the UV of the cap. And it's kind of messed up right now because of the displacer. Uh, you can see that it's still not perfect uh, even as such, but it does sort of continue the same UV pattern across from the cap onto the rounding. So uh, keep the rounding UVW keep shape option off if you want individual UVs for the rounding that more or less follow the pattern of the extrusion. Turn it on if you want rounding UVs that match the pattern of the caps. So that's an overview of a couple of handy options that were added to the caps tab in Cinema 4D R16.